Hello. So today we're going to talk about limited access roles and administrators for Meraki Systems Manager. Now, limited access roles are exactly that. Within a Meraki dashboard network, we can actually segment access and role-based access control even further. And this is really, really simple to do. Now, a use case for this might be that you have a big network of all of your managed devices, but you want to delegate access to administrator A and administrator B in hospital A, admin C and D in hospital B, admin E and F in hospital C, etc., etc. Now, traditionally, each administrator of a network would be able to administrate every single device, but with limited access roles, we can actually segment all of the devices within a particular network. This is really, really simple to do. So we're going to go over to our Meraki network. And as you can see, we've got Systems Manager in here. I'm going to go to Network Wide and Administration. Now, most of you are probably more familiar with going to Organization and Administrators, but we're actually going to start here instead. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to go down to limited access roles just here. And we're going to add a new role. Now, to give this a little bit more context, I'm going to type in hospital, hospital, IT for Italy, and then Milan. And this is because there might be a use case why you might uh, be managing the devices for multiple hospitals across multiple countries. So we've got our role name, Hospital IT Milan. We're going to do with any of the following tags and we're going to create a new tag and we're going to call this Hospital IT Milan. We will create that and we will save. So all we've done is just create a role. But this on its own is not really going to do anything. We need to actually create an administrator now for this. So I can go up here and I can create a new user. I can call this admin a Milan, whatever you want to call it, doesn't really matter. And we can go um, Acme admin a at hospital IT Milan.com or whatever username you're going to use. And we will create user. Now, as you can see, it's arrowed. What we actually have to do now is give it a privilege. And we're going to just tick the hospital IT Milan tag that we created earlier. And we're going to click save. Really straightforward. Now, what we've done is to create a role. We've created an administrator for that role and off we go, all is well. So when that administrator uh, receives their email and gets their password and logs in, nothing is going to happen. What we actually now need to do is go to our systems manager network. We're going to go to our devices and we actually have to tell systems manager which of these devices we're actually going to let this administrator actually use. So I'm just going to pick a few devices at random here. I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to go to tag. And what I can do is add the tags and I'm just going to do hospital IT Milan there and click save. Now what we're going to do is actually see what this looks like as an administrator. So I've gone ahead and created a new administrator. I'm going to log in as we all well and know. And you'll see that dashboard looks a little different now. As you can see, there's no organization. There is nothing on the left hand side other than systems manager. So I can go up here and you'll see that the settings are completely different as well, because this administrator will only be able to administer devices. Let's go up to the devices and you'll see that we only have a handful of devices that we can actually manage now. If we take one of these, you'll see that we get all of the things that we can normally do with a device, 
and we can even remove and add tags as well. So just to recap, this is how we can create a limited access role with Meraki Systems Manager so that an administrator can only manage a handful of devices. Thank you.